I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. Okay, I'm super excited to be here today for a few reasons. Like always, I get to share a bit of machine quilting, but today I get to share a fun new design using one of my brand new machine quilting rulers, the Sway 3. I know it's hard to see this mini little guy here on camera, but he's so cute and so much fun to use to machine quilt. I've really been having a lot of fun playing around with these new Sway rulers and creating a lot of fun, beautiful designs. Yes, I'm working on a bunch of videos right now. As soon as I get them all ready, I will definitely be sharing them here with you on YouTube. So make sure you have subscribed to my channel. You'll be the first to know when I release some new videos and know when I share more videos how to use these Sway rulers. So today I'm going to be quilting a few flying geese blocks. I'm actually going to quilt the first two designs using the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler, and then I'm going to quilt the second two designs just freehand. Now I'm quilting these flying geese designs, or these blocks here, down at the bottom of my brand new class sample. So I have a brand new class called Visual Guide to Machine Quilting Quilt Blocks, which will launch on January 1st, 2023. So if this quilt right here on the wall is actually one of the class samples. There's two different variations of centers that you can quilt if you join Let's this fun quilt class another. quilt along with me. Now around the outside of the quilt there are flying geese blocks. In the actual class I will be demonstrating teaching you step by step how to machine quilt those blocks. After I had quilted the top portion of the quilt and got down to the bottom of the quilt that's where I started just playing around with the sway rulers, creating more designs and having a lot of fun. So if you like these designs that I'm sharing here today, you can use those instead of the designs that I teach in the class or even in addition, or just take these ideas, these concepts, grab your sway rulers and machine quilt these designs on your own quilts. Alrighty friends, you can order these new rulers on our website, peaceandquilt.com, and you can also register for this class at any time on our website as well. Let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. Let's start with that first flying geese block. Before I begin quilting, I am going to use my blue Mark Be Gone marker. I'll find the center on the top two sides of that flying geese block, mark the center point, then I'm ready to begin stitching. I'll start stitching using the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler in one corner. I'll stitch to that marked line, adjust the ruler, and then stitch to the top of the block. From there, I'll repeat that process down to the opposite side on that flying geese block. A fun little way to add a little bit of curvature to a flying geese block. Once I've reached that corner, I'm going to fill the inside of this block in with loops. When I'm stitching loops, I'm not measuring, I'm kind of guesstimating here using the side of my ruler foot to keep those loops about a quarter of an inch wide. Obviously they start out small and get larger as I fill in all the way to the top of that block. I love this first block. Let's move on and quilt another block using again the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler. I'll start the second block just like that first block. I'm going to find the center on the top two sides of the block and mark that center point using the blue Mark Be Gone marker. Again, I'm going to use the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler. Starting in my corner, I'm going to stitch a point to point line to that marked point. Now, once I get to that marked point, you'll notice that I'm going to stop and adjust my ruler and stitch right to the center bottom point on my flying geese block using both the concave and the convex curves here on the Sway 3 machine quilting ruler. So once I stitch back, to that center marked point, then I'll stitch to the top of the block and then repeat that process coming back down the opposite side of this block. Should we go through this one more time? Let's show this one more time. Stitch out that same block design. 
Now remember, anytime you're doing machine quilting with machine quilting rulers, you want to hold your ruler a quarter of an inch away from where you want your thread to intersect. Also make sure that you do have a ruler foot on your machine and also an extended base plate or a large flat working surface underneath. Let's move on to another version, another fun way to machine quilt a flying geese block. This next block, of course I will start out by stitching in the ditch around the block, but then I'm going to have some fun with feathers. I thought it would be fun to try a new variation on feathers. As I'm stitching out, I'm stitching kind of more of a playful feather style here, but notice as I get to the top portion of my feather, I'm actually kind of adding in a little bit of a bump. So instead of keeping my feathers nice and round like I'm generally doing, I'm adding just that little bump, making them a little bit more flat. I'm also adding a spine through the center of my feathers. I think that spine really makes these feathers look kind of like a feather leaf, maybe like an actual plant leaf or something like that. I love this design. It's a great filler for any flying geese block. Let's move on and quilt one more flying geese block. Here I'm using the So Fine color number 402 thread. We do have it available on our website, peaceandquilt.com, but you can see how it blends so nicely with all four of these blocks. Now, as I'm stitching out this final feather, I'll start out small with kind of a simple wavy line, waving to the outside, and then coming back down to my spine. I'll repeat that process, filling in with those wavy feathers until I filled in that triangle flying geese block completely. I love how this block turned out. I love how all four of these blocks have turned out. Now you can pick up these rulers, the Sway rulers, or my set, the Sway 3, the Sway 4, and the Sway 5 over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. You can also enroll in this brand new class, Visual Guide to Machine Quilting Quilt Blocks, over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.